Hey guys, this is Patriot Genetics. I'm here going to bring you tenses for choosing a concealed carry handgun. All right. Number one, find a gun shop you're comfortable with and that they know what they're doing. All right. When I was searching for my first handgun, 95% of the shops were stuck up and did little to help. I would ask questions and they would just ignore me and just shun me, give me short, meaningless answers that I didn't understand. Uh, if you're gonna go to a gun shop that you're not sure of, you don't know these people, you're gonna at least make sure they have a salesman that can explain the products they have that are available and can operate them. You don't want someone, how do you say, showing you all these products and not knowing what to do with them. It's like, oh, uh, how do I, here's a Glock. Uh, or how do I, uh, I don't know what to do with it. But here, here's a Glock, it's nice though. All right, oh, just so you know, it is clear. Oh. I don't know if you can see it, but it's clear. All right. Make sure they don't talk down to you. Make sure they don't disrespect you. If they disrespect you, they don't deserve your business. I don't care if they're the best in America. They don't deserve your business if they're disrespecting you. All right. They shouldn't be pushing you to buy their products. All right. They should be giving you correct information to give you they should be giving you correct information so you can make an informed decision. There we go. They're struggling over here. Most of the time, 99% of the time, you want to try it before you buy it. Now, I'll let me rephrase that. 100% of the time, you want to try it before you buy it. Okay. There's many gun ranges out there that are indoor, outdoor that'll let you try, try handguns out, rifles out. But let's stick with handguns right now. All right. They'll let you try out handguns and you can see which one you like the most. All right, as you shop, you want to educate yourself. So you go to these ranges, you already have a similar idea with what you want. So you're gonna ask, I want this, this, and this. I want to try all these out. Oh, so you're gonna pay, you're gonna rent it. You know, five bucks, that's how much it was off post for me. And remember what you shot. Remember what you liked, okay? Number three, know the details of what you're gonna buy. All right, make sure you do your research. In my opinion, not just research, make sure it's thin, light, compact, and comfortable. All right, make sure it'll fit with your lifestyle, your wardrobe. I'm a skinny, I have a skinny frame, fit frame. This is compact enough for me to be able to fit in my shirt and not be able to be seen or hardly seen. Like you couldn't really tell if I was walking around. All right, so you wanna make sure it fits your lifestyle in your wardrobe pretty much. Make sure it's reliable, all right? And I mean, when I mean reliable, I want you to make sure it's durable, reliable. You're gonna be practicing with this every day. Not every day, at least every weekend, all right? I, I plan on practicing this Saturday. Shoot at least a good 100 rounds through it, and maybe another 100 through my AR, okay? You always wanna be proficient with your weapon. You wanna practice, 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 and be proficient. All right. Make sure you, number number five, find a good fit, okay? When choosing a handgun, you wanna make sure it fits in your hand well. All right, fits my hand perfectly, but for the most part, I love it, it feels good to me. That's all that matters. All right, can you reach, can you reach the trigger comfortably? All right, I can reach the trigger fine. Okay, can you, can you see the front side post clearly? I can. I mean, when I was choosing my gun, to be honest, it was between the 23 and the 19. Okay. And I want a 20, I'm left, sorry. I want the 19. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Make sure you can get, make sure you can, uh, Manage the recoil from, from your gun. All right, nine mil, easy, simple, not too much recoil. I could have gone 23, the 40, and it would have been a lot more recoil to it. I never shot a 23, I always shot a nine mil, so I still with nine mil because I was familiar with it. Maybe later down the line, I'll get go to 40, because I'd rather have a gun that I can shoot accurately than a 40 or 45 that I'm shooting sporadically. All right, you want accurate follow-up shots, okay? 
Number seven, get a good trigger. All right, you don't have to get this right away, but it's highly recommended because you don't want one too heavy or too light. If it's too light, you're gonna get accidental discharge and that'll be a bad day for everybody. Okay, make sure you, make sure you don't get cramps. If it's too heavy, it'll be hard to, hard to pull and you'll get trigger cramps. All right, number eight, make sure you're accurate with your handgun. Practice it with it, nonstop, okay? You want good follow-up shots because bad guys have a bad habit of not going down after the first shot. They say a second shot to be safe, I say a whole clip, sorry, whole magazine to be safe. Number nine, make sure it's easy to operate. All right, it has to be simple and safe to operate. That's the main course of it. Can you pull the slide back easily? Can you, can you put a round in the chamber? Can you reach the magazine catch? Because under stress, you'll forget all about these. That's why you gotta practice and be proficient with it so it'll be easy to use, all right? So it's second nature, all right? Also, make sure you can strip it. You can clean it easily without putting too much force like, oh, I can't, oh, I can't get it open. What do I do? Oh, honey, can you help me open this? No, you don't want that. You wanna be able to do it yourself because if your husband or your family member isn't around to help you, you're fucked, okay? And last but not least, number 10, affordability don't pay too much there's no reason to pay thousands of dollars for a handgun a factory glock right here cost me 495 i got a blue label discount it was 600 in the store so i got 495 thank god because i wasn't gonna spend no 600 dollars i'd spend i'd save a lot more paycheck if i wanted to 600 dollars but anyway you don't need an expensive gun to protect yourself you just need to do your job to protect you okay Nine mil like if you're on a budget, nine millimeters is perfect because the ammunition's cheap. Perfect target ammunition and the hollow points for defensive ammo is pretty affordable too. Alright. Those are my 10 tips on getting a concealed carry gun. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Patreon Genetics. Have a good have a good day, guys. Please like and subscribe. Ask what do you think I could do better. Please comment below. Have a good one, guys. Mm.